hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to be testing out sheen's abayas our mentor is that that sheen do abayas on their website they do a lot of different things on the website um but i thought we'll test them out and see whether they actually are like abayas or if the material is any good or if they're worth the money so i picked out six different abayas i tried to keep them very different to each other so i've got some like plain ones some dressy up ones like that you could probably wear for like Eid um, and then and some coloured ones and a plain black one I had to incorporate one black one just in case anyone wanted to see what that one looked like but straight off the bat as I was unpacking them I I feel like some of them might be good one of them is a fail I think but some of them will be good so let's just get straight into this video okay so let's start off with this one I actually really really like the colour of this one and it's got like, what do you call these, like little embellishments falling down the front. I I did think that this was going to be embroidered, I don't know why I didn't think it was printed but it came and it's actually like printed in the material. So yeah, I got the size extra small in everything but the colour of this I thought was really nice um, with like a white bodysuit and white straight leg trousers. I'm probably going to style all of them in a very similar way um, just so you can get the idea of the actual abaya and not like the outfits underneath but yeah I really like this it's very big and flowy and the length is really nice it goes straight down to the floor all of these fit me like straight down to the floor so it's perfect for my height I am 5 foot 1 for reference this is what it looks like and then it's just got like baggy sleeves and the same same print on the end it has all of these like coins is it coins yeah coins falling down and then the print and then it goes back into the plain color at the bottom the material of this is really nice thin and airy as well i'm not gonna lie um i feel like for summer or spring here it would be really nice to just chuck on and i feel like that one's like a safe option because it's kind of giving me like kimono vibes if that makes sense you can totally close it up and add a belt on if you wanted to or just pin it yourself if you wanted to and then moving on to this one okay this one i was the most excited about because on the website it looked amazing like the quality of it the thickness the print everything but i'll show you what it's supposed to look like it came and it's so it's not what it's not what it will look like on the website it came and it's just like cheaply printed and but the material is fine it's just very thin like cotton but the print is completely different like i'll show you the picture the pr print in the picture was so like i don't know it looked so much more expensive and then this like yeah i'm not i'm not impressed it did come out differently but of course i'll still show you guys what it looks like on i feel like this if anything is more like a kimono looking jacket than an actual abaya this is probably my least favourite abaya out of all of them just because of how like different it looks to the website and how cheap the print looks. Um, but again, I got this in an extra small. The length is perfectly fine. If you wanted to still wear this, you could again wear it with the same white bodysuit, white straight leg trousers um, and it'd look more like a modern jacket than an abaya. So I suppose you could still wear it if you wanted to. But yeah, that's the second abaya see on camera it doesn't actually look bad it actually looks nice but in person this print just doesn't look like can we tell it's like cheaply done i feel like you can't really tell then moving on to the third one which is this nudie like champagne color with the black lace on the collar i actually really like this one um so yeah it's got lace on the sleeves and it's quite like wide sleeves the black paneling down the front and it actually comes with a belt on the back like a braided belt i do actually like this i feel like the material is nice it's um satin i would say like satin silk it's it does feel a bit like a nightgown but i feel like again when it's hot it would look really nice with black wide leg trousers underneath you can open it or close it um i would probably open it because obviously because I feel like it makes more sense with my hair but if you were to wear a headscarf I feel like it looks so much more nicer closed this is probably my favourite one just because of the quality and it actually looks like an abaya like 
full chin this is pretty impressive if that makes sense so yeah i do like this one i think all of them were very affordable they were between like 20 to 30 pounds i want to say i don't think anything was more than 30 pound um which is pretty affordable because i know buyers can like range from 20 to like god knows how much um but yeah i really like this one and it's also got lace at the bottom all around so i just think it's a little bit more nicer and fancier to wear for like an iftar meal or even like a birthday meal in ramadan like it would look really nice on and on to this piece probably isn't showing up on there just yet but this it's probably a little bit more dressier um it's different to what i've seen that's why i picked it it's in this cream color it's got like like net mesh all over with embroidery on the sleeve and embroidery down the front as well so there you can see a better look of it it's like all mesh zigzag um it's double lined and then the sleeves have all this thread work on it now i actually like this one it does remind me of like a pakistani dress but i feel like it was more different for a more dressy event and because of like the thread work it kind of makes it look a bit more asian again for she and this is super creative and i actually like it um but i did think that the thread work was embroidery because it said online that it was um I think it said embellishment or something like i thought it was going to be actual like you know like 3d coming off the off the sleeve sort of thing but it's not it's just made out of the red so again it's probably a lot cheaper looking than other reviews but i still really like this um i don't think what cream trousers but i think this would look nice with cream like capri trousers um and then just belt it up because it does have a belt as well which is just a plain like cream belt um if not i'll wear it with white straight leg ones but yeah i think it would look great with black cream white anything really underneath and the next one i would say is super dressy um i'm not a fan of this one as much just because i don't really like all of this that's on it um i feel like it looks a little bit more traditional in my opinion um, and it does come with a belt but again you could definitely dress this up um, for an occasion for a birthday or just an iftar meal it's literally just plain all the way down um, in this nude colour and then all of the detailing is at the top and on the sleeves this is what it looks like on I feel like you could get away with even wearing this for like a wedding because of how like dressy this is however ooh it is ripped but the, the embroidery is actually ripped around here i feel like this piece would be very fragile um to wash because the like the red work embroidery stuff is actually already ripping apart so but yeah I like the material of this is super nice as well it's like very flowy it just falls and i really like that so that's that one and then the last one is a good classic black abaya it's got the nude paneling all the way down it's got a black belt which i just put at the top because it doesn't actually have any loopholes the rest of them have loopholes this one doesn't so i'll just put it around the neck for now and the sleeves on this is so nice can you guys see it's got like all this network and the bottom of the eye is actually plain it's literally just a plain classic one with the arm detailing this is the arm and this is the full abaya so yeah i feel like this would be perfect if you're like going to the mask or again anything if you want to go for iftar and you just like to a black like i would definitely wear this one this is my second favorite because i just feel like it's a classic you know with an all black outfit underneath or just tie it up and a black hijab would look so nice so that's all of the abayas i picked up from sheen they had so many other ones as well if you like any i've linked them all down below along with my discount code which is scene 15 i think i actually really enjoyed ordering these from sheen just because i feel like 
I don't know, it's fun to see what other things that they have on other websites, especially when it comes to like cultural clothing. And I actually found two buyers out of the six that I will be keeping because I really like and I know I'll get use out of them. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment and subscribe as always and I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye!